Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to install <coughs> uh, various Pali study software on your uh, Windows computer or Windows laptop. Uh, I'm also, I have also made other videos for how to install it on a Mac computer or MacBook and I will also make different videos for um, how to install things on Android phones and on iPads or iPhones. So just some background on this um, on this uh, installation instructions. This was actually um, mainly aimed at the students of the ITBMU, uh, the Buddhist University in uh, Yangon. So I had given a lecture on how to install these Pali softwares um, like for, for Stali and Tipirika study. Um, I had given a lecture and was uh, actually wanted to install it with the students in the, in the lecture but it turned out to be quite difficult for everyone to follow along um, with the speed uh, that, I, that I was using. So. Um, I decided to make these uh, videos, video tutorials, so that everyone can um, watch them on their own and can follow along according to their own speed, can press pause and go back if something was unclear. And because I will be showing uh, with the mouse, um, you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I hope that in this way it will be um, easy uh, and possible for everyone to install the things. Uh, another note, so you you will uh, s just here I, I uh, copied the the files that we are going to use or that you might have uh, downloaded already so the links f uh, for downloading these are in the description uh, of the video below. So uh, this Pali study folder, so there, there are different folders here, book resources, these are just some uh, PDF books and ebooks um, related with Tibirika studies. So you can, um, you can use this, uh, I found it just helpful to have them um, all in one place, no, not needing to search uh, here and there in the internet. Uh, for Android, this is for the installation of uh, apps and websites on your Android phone, and then Pali Study is the uh, is the folder that we are going to use. So for installation on um, on computers. So this uh, this folder actually this zip file includes um, both the installations f files for uh, installation on Windows as well as on Mac computers just so that it's easier to share. So that I there's just one file and you can share it with anyone regardless of uh, what computer they have. <coughs> so a, sh a little info on what we are going to do. So this file currently includes um, the Pali study zip file currently includes these uh, software. So especially uh, most of you want to know about how to install the digital Pali reader and I'm also showing how to uh, include the offline translations for it. Um, so English translations in the digital Pali reader, how to integrate them. Then uh, some of the Myanmar students might want to uh, read in Myanmar font, so um, I'll include some Pali fonts here and how to, on how to install them. Then Pali keyboard to write correct um, Pali diacritics like this one here. Um, the then the access to inside website, Sutta Central Legacy website. It's an old version of the Sutta Central website, which we can have a full archive uh, for offline usage. Sutta Central um, progressive web app, which is the the current version. Then the Tipidika app, PCD, and a Pali declension tool. So the thing is, you can download all these things uh, in the internet. So actually, all this now will be for offline uses, right? So you don't need internet when you use them, uh, especially here in Asia. Uh, you know, and for monks and nuns, it's sometimes difficult to get internet. So 
Um, all this is for offline usage. Only for this one, you will need some internet um, for the installation. Uh, but later, when you you can use it offline. Um, also, all these tools uh, are not made by me. So uh, I have also just found them on the internet. Um, these are not my property, and I will also provide links to all of them, like to their uh, to their original websites uh, of those who have made these. Um, so if you want, you can download them directly from those websites, from, from the original website. So the only purpose, um, like why I have made this Pali study archive is to have it all in one place. Um, to have it all in one place uh, so that it's easier to install it all at once. And this tutorial will be going along, will be making use of this archive. Um, so if you download this archive, it will be much easier for you to follow this video. Um, another note, this one, the poly declension tool, actually I don't know uh, who made this. I have no idea. Um, I just got this from someone here at the university. Uh, but for the others, wherever I know the link, um, I will give you the link so you can um, you can also download it from their website. So I hope that uh, I believe that all these uh, like in terms of copyright that is uh, not a problem that I'm I have uh, just combined these. In any case, it, it, it this is kind of like for private um, uh, just to s to share it with uh, my um co-students here uh, classmates at the university just for ease of use i have created this archive uh, where all is included okay so so let's get started with the installation so first of all this poly study study um zip archive uh, I suggest that you can just leave it. You can save these wherever you like in your documents or wherever you want to save them um, so that you can later also share them with others. But for the installation, we are going to use another uh, copy of this. So for the installation, we will just copy this. Um, I suggest that you get familiar with some basic uh, shortcuts on Windows, like key keyboard shortcuts. So for copy, I just use the Control and C. Control and C on your keyboard. Um, yeah, I think you know the Control button and the C button. Control C is, uh, is copy, Control V is paste, uh, Control X is cut, and we will get to some other shortcuts uh, later. So I won't be doing like this all the time, uh, copy and then pa paste like this. This is too tiresome. Um, I just say whenever I copy something, so um, just keep this in mind. So I copy this and we need to copy this to a location where we won't move it later. So in the process of the installation, we will, do, we will make some shortcuts and they need those files to stay where they are, otherwise uh, the shortcuts won't work later. So that's why I suggest you put it, you just put it in your C drive or your D drive, um, whatever you have kind of like local drives on your laptop. Um, it's just important that later you don't uh, move it. So for example, I don't suggest you to put it on your desktop because later you might want to clean up the desktop and then you have to delete it. So that will be a problem. So I suggest you just put it in your C drive that might be called Windows C. And then we just paste it here. You need to get give permission in order to copy something into this folder. And then this is a zip file. So we can extract it here by right clicking on it. <coughs> And then either, so if you have already some kind of software uh, installed, then you can use this here, this one extract here, or otherwise Windows will also have its own uh, function and there will be something around here 
which tells you extract and then you just extract it here uh, depending on your computer's uh, speed this may take a while so this depends on your computer's uh, speed so now this is finished and we can already delete this uh, poly study archive we don't need it anymore so we delete it and we go into this folder so now here you see some kind of strange uh, archive this is a 7-zip archive um, I, I use this format in order to make the file size uh, much smaller than 7-zip uh, so actually uh, maybe I should have mentioned this earlier you need to have um, at least around let's say for the installation you will need uh, temporarily 5 gigabyte of free space on this uh, disk so you see now I have um, enough space here uh, so during the installation you see now this is around um, yes now it's like 1 GB but later after it will be extracted fully extracted then it will be almost 4 gigabyte so just make sure that you have enough space for during the installation after the installation it will be a bit less because we can delete some of the things so in order to extract this you need to install uh, software first so I provided these are for uh, Mac you can see so we can just delete them and this is the installation file for Windows so just double click this install and then it's uh, it's installed finish we close this and we go back so the unzipping utility now you can already delete and then you go on uh, right click and 7-zip so if you have WinRAR you can you can use this if you want but I suggest to use 7-zip because uh, in my experience it is actually a bit faster so because this is their own file format and they they know better how to handle it so 7-zip and then extract here so there are some other functions here um, don't mind them always use this function here extract here okay so we can delete the archive again Na then we go into this folder and we see another archive here uh, which is called websites so this one now it's just uh, 200 MBs later will be uh, much more so this will take a while so let's start already extracting this while we are doing some other um, installations so we will right click again the same story uh, 7-zip and then extract here so this computer does it very quickly but on some uh, older computers this might take up to half an hour or one hour uh, I mean just depends on your the speed of your computer alright so while this is extracting even here takes some time let's go in this into this folder browsers here you see uh, installation files uh, for Mac you can delete this folder we don't need it and then um, Chrome and Pale Moon. so you will need both of these browsers for um, using all the tools that I'm providing um, this computer here ha already has uh, Chrome installed so I won't be uh, I won't be installing it again um, but if you have not uh, don't have Chrome on your computer you should first now you should uh, install Chrome first so most of you will have 64-bit computers so use this first 64-bit in case your computer is based on a 32-bit it will just give you um, an error message and then you can use the 32 so in order to know you can go and right click on this PC properties and here you can see system type this is a 64-bit operating system so Chrome is already installed so we will install the Pale Moon browser just double click
Oh, actually, I want to say a few words about the PaleMoon browser. So let's first install it. Next, we can use the standard installation install, and then it will install. So now la launch PaleMoon now when it's finished. So the PaleMoon browser is actually um, the browser which we are going to use for for the digital poly reader. Um, and since it is, um, so Pale Moon is actually, or let's say the digital poly reader, this tool, the digital poly reader, it was uh, initially made for Firefox to work with the Firefox browser. So many of you might uh, know this from, from the past. But uh, Firefox, since it has been updated many times, it doesn't support uh, the digital poly reader anymore. Um, there was also for some time a w an option to install the Waterfox browser, but this also doesn't support, uh, support all the features anymore. So you have to use this uh, Pale Moon browser. Um, you can download it also from their website, the latest version, um, just palemoon.org. ORG. Um, so this is based on f uh, an old version of Firefox, and this is the the browser which we can still use to to um, to use the digital poly reader. All right. So after we have um, opened the PaleMoon browser, now we will go. Uh, we will put this here to the side in order to open side by side the uh, Pale Moon browser and the, uh, the folders here. So next we go into plugins and you see these five plugins here and what we do to install them in the browser we just click and drag them uh, hold, I mean you click and hold and you drag them here and then you just drop them you just release and then install now and you do this one by one with each of these files. Install now. Next. And the last one. And when you finish the last one, you click on restart now. Okay, so here we can go back, we can close this. Um, so what next thing you want to do is we want to clean up this browser a little bit so in order to remove this um, bookmarks bar here in the bottom we just right click and remove the bookmarks bar next uh, customize right click and customize and then we can move this icon <coughs> here next to the search bar um, just I just like this uh, it's more easily accessible Next thing, we click on it, which will open the digital poly reader. So now what we wa would like to do is to make this um, welcome page our home page for this browser, so that whenever we open this browser, um, it will start right here. So what we do is we close this other tab, so we just have only, um, only this open. And then we press the Alt key on the keyboard. So on your keyboard next to the spacebar you see the Alt key. And this will open this menu up here. Then you click on Tools. While you are have this page opened, you click on Tools and Preferences. And then Home page, Use Current Page. So here in the General tab, Use Current Page. And then just OK. Next thing we want to do, we want to set up some things here so we go to um, tools and preferences then so by now um, the websites here already have extracted so while you, you do these extra settings now um, you should already have extracted the websites um, so we can delete this website archive um and now we can associate the offline website archives with this uh, digital poly reader so here 
check this box for show translations. You might also want to, to do this, show page numbers as you like. Um, and then access to inside archive, use offline archive, use uh, Buddhist text archive. And then for the uh, access to inside archive, we will search the folder. So we go to the C folder uh, or where, wherever you put it, wherever you put this Pali study folder. You go there inside, then to the websites, and now you see this website here, ATI website mod. Uh, one short note about this. Um, on the one hand, like before I told you, you, you can also download the A ATI website archive directly from the Access to Inside website. But um, if you just uh, download the original file, it will not work with this um, digital party reader anymore because the website archive has been changed in some way and so uh, it doesn't work with the with this tool anymore so that's why I modified this like I didn't I didn't change um, I didn't really change anything all I did was I cr like because this this here is searching for some start files, it wants to have these start files, so I just copied the index file and created them start files. So just some technicalities which I changed in order to make this website archive um, work with the digital poly reader. So just for information, if you download it yourself, you have to modify it first before it can work with the digital poly reader. Okay, so we just select this folder, ATI website mod, and then select folder. We do the same for the Buddhist text archives. Select the folder and here, select folder. Next, what you might want to do is um, change the font because um, the standard font here, Verdana, um, it doesn't uh, display the Pali diacritics correctly. So what you want to do is, for example, we would like to use this Sego UI. This font um, I suggest to use on Windows. Um, it's uh, nice to read and it, it can properly show the Pali diacritics. Uh, text size you might want to increase maybe to 18. Um, okay, and that's it. So we apply. If you did something wrong here, like if you went inside this folder and you clicked something here, then when you click apply, you will get an error message. So make sure you select the right folder, just this one, ATI website mod, select folder, and then click OK. So now you see this font, now when we reload the page, the font will change. And now we have the different font and the uh, Pali, now you can see the Pali diacritics are correct, uh, correctly shown. Okay, um, one more thing, just to make this uh, a bit nicer. Now, at the moment, um, it looks like this, like a moon. We might want to change this. So let's close this. Let's go to the menu here and go down to the Pale Moon browser, so then you can right click on it, more and open file location. So right click and then file location. If you have a Windows 7, so this is Windows 10, if you have Windows 7, uh, you just right click on this and open folder location, but here you have to do right click then more and open file location. So then we are here in this folder and we can uh, change the name let's say digital poly reader you have to give the um, administrator permission and then we want to change the icon also so right click properties change icon and then we have to find the icon okay so here it already showed because I was there before but again to show you how to get there you go to your folder, Pali study, Pali resources, then websites, and there is a folder called icons. So you go inside, choose this one for the digital Pali reader. Okay, okay, again, have to give 
permission. And now the, the icon is changed. And when we open it, we also have this icon here. We can also pin it to the taskbar. So whenever you close it, it's still here and you can access it easily. Okay, alternatively, what you can do is you right click here, send to desktop, create a shortcut, and now you see we have this shortcut here. All right, so actually now we in this way we have already finished setting up the digital poly reader. Um, the next thing you might want to do is to, or let's say for Myama, um, for the Myama monks and nuns, if you want to um, look at this uh, Pali in Myama script, then you can do so here. So go in the tools, preferences, text, and then change the text uh, script from Roman into Myama. So you will see if we reload the page, then it can show in Myama script. But uh, I've had the experience actually that in on many Windows computers the uh, Myama font is not displayed uh, properly. So that's why I have included some fonts here. So again, in the Poly Resources folders, you see fonts and keyboards. So fonts, we go into the fonts folder, and here I have given some uh, fonts. You can just install them, double click and install. Now I have already uh, installed it. Um, especially important is this one, not the Sans Myanmar. This is the Google font, um, Google font uh, for, for Myanmar script. Uh, Zorgi, you also might need for the PCED software that I'll explain later. So also install that. And then what we can do is we can change the font here as well. So we go to text, preferences text, and then we change this to one of the fonts that we just installed. So one thing you have to use um, Unicode fonts. So Zorgi one won't work with this. Um, but otherwise, Unicode fonts you can use. In order to know the names of the font, you can go in uh, some kind of text application, for example, in Word. Then you can browse these fonts here, and you will see, um, where is it? Um, and here is the Noto Sans Myanmar. So this is what we just installed. In, this in the same way as it is written here, you have to uh, write it in the digital poly reader. So Noto space Sans space Myanmar. So this is what we're going to, um, to do here. We'll just write Noto Sans Myanmar. And then you will see that the font will change if I reload the page. And now it looks much better. You can use any uh, any kind of font, your favorite uh, Mima font, that whatever you like. Um, you can also do this with uh, with the other scripts. So, for example, um, Thai, Devanagiri, Singala. If if the the default font is not very good, um, you can choose any kind of uh, font that you like. Um, but it must be a Unicode uh, font. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, so the next thing you might want to do um, is you might want to get the Pali keyboard. So here you can see that I have uh, included uh, two different key keyboards. One is English UK Pali, and one is English US Pali. So. This depends on whatever you language you have for your system. Um, here we go to English, uh, I mean to, to the keyboard. If you, if you have only one language on your, uh, on your laptop, then this will not show here. So what you will do is you will just 
search for keyboard um, or actually language yes language ed edit language and keyboard options otherwise alternatively you can go here and then language preferences it's the same so now you can see here I have three different languages installed um, the UK is what I'm uh, I mean on this computer it's not my computer actually um, so this is the uh, UK font which I'm using for writing uh, English wi or which is used here for writing English and the US font is not not even used for English it's actually or I mean Latin script it's used for uh, Myanmar and then there is also a singular script so because of that in order to have three different options so that I can later uh, easily change between the, the fonts um, or the between the keyboards I will install the UK keyboard so that they are all separate so I go here to English UK Pali and we just click the setup so here actually I already have it installed in your case it will just um, install it will ask you a permission um, it will ask you some permission probably it will ask you a permission and then it will just inform you uh, it has been successfully installed okay so now what we can do is we go back here uh, to the language preferences and now to the UK one or you can add a language if you haven't got that one which you just installed you will add a language and you will use the UK or US if you installed US so I will go to the UK English to the options and now you see already it's already here UK and Pali so actually we don't need two we can use just one so that's why let's remove this one and <coughs> then just this one uh, remains <coughs> And now I can easily, so now you can see right now the Zorji Mirma is uh, selected. So if I write, it will be in Mirma. Um, and how to switch e quickly between the different keyboards is you press the Alt and the Shift key together. So Alt Shift. Now you see singer, it has changed to Singular. Again, Alt Shift. Now it has changed to UK Pali again all shift will change to Zorgi and in this way I can change between the different keyboards so now since we have installed it now we are able to write um, Pali diacritics and how to do that is to use the right alt key so next to your space bar you have two alt keys one on the left side one on the right side and you have to use the right one um, plus the key that you want to write so let's say an alt and an a then you will get this an alt and an i then you get the long i ooh, like this for the na the retroflex you use the n for the ma um, you use the g so alt and g gives us this <coughs> and alt and uh, c no sorry alt and y yes yeah so that gives us nya okay so alt and n gives us this alt g this alt y gives us this and then the others are uh, according to their letter so alt and t d m in this way you can you can use this keyboard there are also some you see with h and s and Z or somewhere else some some other kind of Sanskrit diacritics are also included here okay so now we finished um, this is just for Mac so we don't need it we finished installing the uh, Paymoon browser the digital poly reader uh, if you haven't got Chrome you need to install it uh, first before you do the next step um, so we can 
delete both the browsers and the font, uh, fonts and keywords folder, just delete it. All right, so next thing, we'll set up the offline websites. So you go into this folder, you can close this, go into the websites folder, and then we have different archives here. So the ATI, that means uh, access to inside website, Buddhist text is just a resource for the digital Pali reader, and SC stands for Sutta Central, and in this case, this is the legacy version of the Sutta Central website, so um, it's, it's an old HTML version, it doesn't have all the features of the new website, uh, but the benefit is that we can use it completely offline, the complete website. So let's start with the access to inside website. So in this folder you will find this file a index. On some computers it will also have the file extension, so it be will be called index.html. So that doesn't make any difference, just search this index without any uh, such additions, index or index.html. And then um, right click on it, send to desktop create shortcut. And then you see we got the shortcut here on our desktop and we want to change the name to ATI. Next we also can change the icon, so right click properties change icon, browse and we already get back here in this folder and you can use this access to inside icon and it will change to the ATI icon. Then we go back to the Sutta Central folder, we do the same thing again, right click send to desktop create shortcut then we change the name, that's the F4 key I use, uh, sorry, F2. Um, and then Sutta Central HTML. So I, I choose this extra extension for the name so that we don't confuse it with the other, uh, with the new website. So that's, um, you just, you can name it however you like just make sure you differentiate it from the uh, from the new website. So you could call it HTML or you could call it legacy, uh, central, uh, sort of central legacy. Then again we change the icon and we use this one. So I, I made these different icons just so that it's easier to um, to identify. Sorry, I maybe I didn't make the icons. I just downloaded them from Google. So you can also download them from Google if you if you want. Otherwise, they are here um, in the websites folder. Okay. So the next thing now we need uh, Chrome. We want to open this. Oh, actually, if you have some other kind of uh, browsers installed. Um, this might not be giving you the uh, Chrome logo, so we want to open this with the Chrome browser because I've had the experience with other browsers that they sometimes do not support all the features, so I suggest uh, use the Chrome browser for all these uh, things that, uh, that I'm going to tell you next. So in order to make it um, open with the uh, Chrome browser, you right click, open with, and then choose another app. Or on Windows 7 it will be open with and choose default, uh, choose default program. And then we select the Google Chrome and hook, uh, check this box, always use this app to open HTML files. And then it will open in Chrome. So here is the access to inside website, it's all offline, I'm not in the internet right now. And you can uh, make a bookmark to the bookmarks bar. So in that way when you open a new tab, you will have it here, right here to open it. So we will do the same thing, um, sorry, with Sutta Central. 
we make a bookmark like this. Okay, so next is the Sutta Central, uh, the new website. So we you ha for this you will need some uh, you will need internet connection just to install it. So you open suttacentral.net. Now because I have already downloaded, I don't need uh, internet. <coughs> so here we go on the options, and then we find here install Sutta Central. If the page is not fully loaded, uh, I've had the experience, sometimes it takes a minute or it takes a few moments until you can see this option. So just be patient, wait a minute or two, and then until the page is fully loaded, and then you can go on the options and install Sutta Central. So we give this uh, pop-up and you just install. And then you get the separate app, like a separate uh, program for Sutta Central. And this will also automatically create a shortcut to your desktop. So this is, uh, now you can see why I have given different names to these in order to differentiate them. Um, next thing, you go to use offline and then, <coughs> so sorry, I have should have mentioned earlier, uh, you need the latest version of Chrome for this. So, if you have, if you have uh, some kind of older version, like for example with uh, rectangular tabs here, um, it won't work. It needs to be the rounded ones. It needs to, so just make sure you have one of the latest versions of Chrome installed. Um, at least the one that I provide here in this package. So. Um, yes, because the other browsers don't support this uh, completely, especially not for the offline usage. So, also it doesn't work on Mac. Um, this kind of website, like Progressive Web App, is not supported completely on um, any kind of Apple software, uh, Apple devices, whether MacBook or whether iPads and iPhones but you can use it offline on uh, Windows computers and Linux and also on Android. So what you want to do is uh, check these two here, um, include parallels, include root text and then download. So here, now I already downloaded, but for you, you, you need to download. Uh, also one advice, um, while it's downloading, so it's, it will take around uh, 80 MB so not that much ADMB. Um, it will tell you now it's downloading and you can do what you like. Uh, but I had the experience if you c do something else, then it might fail and it might not work when it's offline. So my suggestion is while it's downloading, just stay on this page. Just just be patient until it finished downloading and don't do something else. Um, so so that you have a higher uh, success rate so yeah so just stay on this page until it will be finished uh, downloading and then you can use here you see suttas only at this moment uh, English and only one language so if you want if you don't like English and you want you know some other language like uh, um, Vietnamese or uh, Myanmar, you can also do that, but you can choose only one language. So English and um, only suttas. Vinaya will probably be available in uh, maybe next year or in, in a few years because uh, um, Ajahn Brahmali, he is translating the Vinaya Pitika right now, retranslating it and when that will be integrated in this website then um, the vineyards, I, I, I assume, vineyard will also be available offline. Okay, for the other kind of setup, um, if you go on any kind of sutta uh, here, the Sujato's translations obviously, then the setup is here, then you have to click on this, and then you can choose any of these side by side or line by line and you can activate the dictionary lookup and you can change the fonts to any kind of font you like. Uh, I mean like the script and 
then you can use it including the dictionary also. Okay, so so sorry I, I showed it in the page, but here it's the same, right? Okay. So then the next thing is we want to actually this one, the Sutta Center, you can also pin to your taskbar. So um, I don't know why it changed the icon. Okay, anyways, maybe not. Okay, so next thing we go to software. So here in the software folder we have three different softwares. Let's start with the TP the Guy app. Inside the this folder you have two, one version for Mac, can delete it, and one for Windows. So again we extract it, sam zip and then extract here. <coughs> You also need the Chrome browser for this again. I mean, for all the features that I'm going to show, you'll need the Chrome browser. So we can delete the archive. And then we start this TPDG app. We can make a uh, shortcut to the desktop, rename it uh, TPDG app. Or maybe like this server. So when you double click this, it will open something like this, and then it will tell you here, open this URL in your browser. So here you can copy it. On Windows 7, you can't copy, you have to type it uh, manually. So you just copy this, actually, with Control C, you can copy it, and then you go into the Chrome browser and you paste it here and open this website. So then we are here and we again make a bookmark and so in this way we can open it from here. On this website what you also might want to do is go to options then more tools and create shortcut. This will create a shortcut to the home screen, to the desktop. And another feature of this one is the PolyScript converter. So for some reason, the PolyScript converter doesn't work if you open it from here. I don't know what's the reason, um, but I have found a way how to make it work. So go back into this folder and open the index file just by dou double clicking. Opening the index file, you cannot use the whole website. You see here the, the Tibetica doesn't load. But what you can do is you can access the PolyScript converter. Then it will give you this, um, this directory and you open the index.html file. And now you can see it works. So here it didn't, it didn't give these features. Now it works and we make a bookmark again on this one and this is just a just a small tool where you can um <coughs> convert any kind of script uh, any kind of poly into any kind of other script thai lao myanmar cambodian bengali um even brahmi script what asoka used 2000 years or more ago um, Tibetan script, Cyrillic, what the Russians uh, use. Um, yes, you can also use. So it also works for tran um, like transcribing from other scripts. So if you have Singala, some Singala text, uh, Singala Pali text, you can put it here and you can transcribe it to Roman. So in any direction, this works. Okay, uh, so we finish with this one. One note here, you have to keep this server running. So if you close this and then you want to open this website, then it will not work. This is because it depends on this uh, server, this app which uh, 
create a local web server on your um, laptop. So again, you don't need internet, but it just creates a website on your laptop. So you need to open it, wait until it says, it gives you the green script, and then you can open it, and you need to keep this running. So you cannot close it, uh, then you will run into problems. So keep it open while you are using um, this uh, software. Okay, the next thing is the PCED. So that's this one. Let's extract it. You will get uh, two folders. One is this 195. Um, here you have the uh, the file with which you can open this. So PCED that is for the Chinese version. You can see here that will give you these kind of options in Chinese. Here you can close it. This is for English version. You can open the English version, then all this will be in English. Um, and if you if you use like um, where was this? So I forgot I forgot how to how to do it in another script but if you if you are using like the uh, Mima script for this so anyways I will make another video on how to uh, how to use all this but if you're using Mima script uh, for this app you need to have installed the SAWG font as far as I remember okay uh, you can, so this is now the version 1.9.3. You can also update this. So that's what this other folder is for, 1.9.5. Uh, um, so I don't know what all this means. I don't know Chinese, um, but I figured out that you can just go into one of these folders. So according to your um, operating system, whether you have Windows 10 or you have Windows 7 or Windows XP even, um, one thing is, if you want to use this Windows 7 one, this only works for the Chinese version. Even if you install this, then also the English version will somehow not work anymore. I don't know why. You can try on your computer, maybe it's just this computer. But uh, I suggest that you just use this one, the Windows 7 one. Even if you have Windows 8 or Windows 10, use the Windows 7 one go into this folder what we do is just uh, copy copy this one so I copied it control C and then uh, actually here it even gives you the SRG font if you if, but I already gave you in the other folder and then you go into this folder again and you just paste it here it asks you to replace these files so you have to replace all of them and then it replaces these files with the updated version and now you can see file version 1.9.5 but on the other hand the English version anyways will not be updated so yes and here if you open the Chinese one then you get 1.9.5 updated version I have no idea what uh, what's the what's the update. Um, maybe some Chinese people can read these kind of manuals, but uh, anyways, that's just what I found out. I'm not using this uh, app personally, but um, Chinese or Vietnamese or even Japanese people might want to use this because it includes some. Um, Vietnamese uh, dictionaries, Chinese dictionaries and all. So that's helpful for for those who can speak these languages. And then the next one is this offline Pali declension. So again, uh, we extract here. So any anyone we can use, extract here. So we have this folder. We can delete these archives. We don't need them. And then go inside here and you see it already invites you to start here so you can make um, you can make a shortcut 
to the de to the desktop you can change the icon actually i just got this a few days ago um i didn't know th this tool before so i didn't figure i didn't um try to find any new uh, icon um you can use any uh, kind of icon you want for example um I don't know, for example, something like this. And then you can just open it. It might take a moment to open. And you can again make a bookmark to the bookmarks bar. And then you can use this uh, this uh, declension uh, tool using the Veltius um, way of writing. So actually, sorry, yes, now that you have the Pali keyboard already, you can also, um, you can also use the Pali keyboard, but if you don't have it, you use the Veltius system, which is just like this. So you write AA, sorry, you just write double A and you get a long A write ee you get a long e you write hyphen n you get a nga you write wave plus n you get a nga, nya you write dot plus t you get a ta and so on so you, in this way you can use the veltius system which is sometimes uh, faster to write actually so i just write b h a a and it will give me like this pass or pass so this is the declension tool very helpful it gives you declension on one side and various dictionaries on the other side in Chinese and English all right so yes I think I hope I didn't forget anything um, so we finished installing all the things all the tools <coughs> um, one more note, uh, I already mentioned in the beginning that you should not uh, move this folder. So this folder with which we have installed all these things, the Pali study folder and the folders which are inside here, uh, don't change them, don't move them anywhere else, uh, don't copy this folder into this folder or w any kind of such things, because then these sh shortcuts which we have created, they will not work anymore and also here um, for example here the the translation so here we have associated the access to insight and buddhist text uh, translations these links so if i open here um, brahma jala sutta uh, now i can just easily open this but if you change these uh, these folders then those also won't work anymore. So if you change something, then you need to go again to the preferences and you need to update here um, the proper location for these and you will have to remake your uh, shortcuts. Okay, so that's all. Um, as far as the installation goes on Windows computers, um, I would like to thank um, Bante Siddhartha who borrowed, um, who lended me his uh, laptop for this, uh, for making this tutorial and also brother Park who lended me the microphone with which I recorded this. Um, yes, thank you for your help and I would also like to ask uh, all the listeners um, uh, those who watch this video that um, if you know any other kind of software which I haven't mentioned here um, that you can let me know about it uh, and then I can maybe include it in future uh, tutorials or just edit this tutorial and edit here um, so like for example this poly declension tool I just got to know this uh, today actually i just got it a few days ago and i found out how to use it today um very useful so if you know any other kind of softwares please let me know in the comments or privately if you 
if you know me and uh, now that you also know how to install this I'd like to ask you that um, for the benefits of others uh, you can keep this file if you have enough space on your computer you can keep this file poly study so that you can share it with others and um, you, that you can also maybe help them for installing uh, if anything in this video was unclear uh, please also let me know in the comments or um, privately <coughs> so I will uh, try to help you and maybe add some notes uh, to make it uh, to clarify it so yes thank you very much and good studies for everyone <laughs>